Hello, my name is Janna Hovańska. I am a physical therapist with a PhD degree in medical sciences and a co-author of an article titled Optimal Management of Idiopathic Scoliosis in Adolescents. I would like to give a short overview of our paper, which is a comprehensive review of that topic. Idiopathic scoliosis is a three-dimensional developmental deformity of the spine and trunk. It affects about 2-3% of adolescent population and has unknown etiology. In the absence of ability to prevent scoliosis occurrence, it is important to focus on its early detection, which enables implementation of early conservative treatment in order to prevent possible progression of scoliosis deformity. In the article, we summarize available data regarding efficiency of different screening methods. The most important features are non-invasiveness, sensitivity, specificity, time requirement, expenses, simplicity and acceptability by the population. Not all of scoliosis cases will result in developing serious health and aesthetic concerns. So probably the most demanding issue is to adjust the adequate management that respects individual occurrence of the disease so to avoid under-treatment, as well as to avoid over-treatment of a patient. There are several treatment options for patients with scoliosis. Physical therapy, different types of exercises based on various strategies of therapeutic management, corrective bracing, which can be classified according to construction type as rigid or soft, wearing type, and suitability to the location of main scoliosis curve, and the last option is the surgery. In choosing the appropriate way of treatment, we need to take into consideration several factors, like the actual degree of deformity, its prognosis, effectiveness of treatment method, possible side effects, patient compliance and expectations. In the article we discuss this topic based on a comprehensive literature review, including precise description, and professional and up-to-date recommendations. Last but not least is the psychological aspect of patients with idiopathic scoliosis, which is under growing consideration as scoliosis occurs in psychologically fragile period of adolescence. Our article provides information about patients' quality of life, aesthetics, psychological well-being and disability assessment, which are important parts of treatment goals analysis. Thank you for listening.